That this microphone, you can see it says Radio Shack on it. Is Radio Shack even still in business? Do they no. still exist? No. They're totally gone. Gone. So that's like okay, not only so that that's one thing that makes it a collector's item. Mm-hmm. And it works fine. I think the audio quality is pretty good. I don't know. We'll we'll listen to it later. I, as you can see, you're the only one with headphones because I only can afford one pair of headphones. Sounds good so far. But you know what? Your voice sounds way better than mine. It sounds like that's. I know. I need. Uh, if I whenever I win the lottery, I'll get all the condenser mics it's in the world, and we can have fifty people with with smooth, silky voices. But if you're gonna make a whole thing out of it. If you want to switch, I mean, it's too late for us to switch mics now. It's like a whole hassle. We could just switch seats, but uh, no, but no, because then I got the whole panel over here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we can't do it. But but the the oh, I was gonna tell. There's a story about that microphone, your microphone there. Right. So that microphone was bought for me. I didn't pay for it. It was bought by two uh, environmental protection agency lawyers, who were speaking out as private citizens. Uh, about it was actually during the Obama administration, and they had a whole video that they made about cap and. Tra- oh, you might have actually turned your mic down. Hold on. Make sure that's all the way up. <laughs> By taking my glasses off, I. No, no, no. Down. I think when you touched it, it might have. There's, it's, it's like a weird little mic. It's got a little button on it and everything. But we radio, got it. Radio Shack. I mean, yeah, seriously. it's Radio Shack. There's a reason why Radio Shack is closed, people. But this, but this microphone has tremendous sentimental value because it was bought for me by uh, shout out Lori Williams, Alan Zabel, uh, two environmental protection agency attorneys. They spoke out about the Obama administration pushing through this bill, the Waxman Markey bill, which is for cap and trade to stop climate change. And they were basically saying, look, this bill has so many loopholes in it. It's not going to hold these companies accountable. It, they're going to easily get around these regulations and continue polluting and and uh, you know c- getting uh, climate change uh, getting to the, the point where it's about to be at mm. and they got silent and, and a funny thing about this whole thing is they got silenced by the EPA because like the, it was not the EPA's official stance they were speaking out just as they like they knew Jim Hansen the dude who made uh, who came up with the original global warming theory and a bunch of other uh, climate scientists who are who are against this, these policies, um, they 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 were threatened, uh, silenced. They uh, had to they got a cease and desist order. They had, we had to take my video down. I had to do a re-edit of it that took out the uh, the EPA building. We, they had a picture of the EPA building in it. And what they, that's like p- protected. They were they used that as an argument as as saying like oh because the picture of the EPA building is in this video that's like representing that this is the opinion of the EPA even though they said in the video we're private citizens this is not the official opinion of the EPA they still attacked them and what's funny is Fox News and Fox Business came out I mean they got interviewed by the New York Times Democracy Now you know a lot of left leaning stuff yeah. too. And moderate stuff and whatever but yeah fox news and fox business interviewed him too and just wanted to play up the angle of how it was like obama's epa silencing you know private citizens but then when they interviewed him they did they didn't uh i mean they they edited it very heavily so the focus of what their message was was actually very minor because of course they don't want to play up the fact that they're saying oh this uh, you know, under Obama, it's not doing enough to combat climate change, right? Because you know, climate change is is a hoax, as as uh, <laughs> as all the right wingers know. But it was funny; it was cool that they got all that coverage from across. The- so, anyways, that microphone was the microphone that they bought to uh, because I was just using a little mini DV cam, kind of like this one over here at the time, right. uh, and so we just had to plug it in. We we set it up in front of them to get a good audio feed for the the video. Oh, the Obama years. Man.